Hey everybody, this is Beat the Bush and today we're gonna talk about this knockoff iPhone cable. I went to China a while ago and I didn't bring my iPhone cable with me. And then I went to all these stores looking for one and I thought, well, maybe if I just bring my portable charger and my phone with me, I can just connect the cable to make sure that it charges first before I buy it. When I was in the store, I plugged it in and then immediately it said, oh, it's charging. And then so like within a second, I'm like, oh, okay, since it looks like it works, I'm gonna buy it. This thing costs 25 yuans, which equates to roughly four US dollars. I already knew before buying this cable that they put an authentication chip inside the cable. But when I brought it back and I plugged it in for a longer duration, roughly 10 seconds, 20 seconds or so, it then it rejected it. I'm just going to dig into this connector. So it's actually a really good looking cable, I think. Um, it has these gray clearish end caps this side for the lightning connectors and I like the cable here that it's like this flat cable look if you remove this side that's where the micro USB is I guess I can still use this as a micro USB connector even though it doesn't work as a lightning cable I was thinking most the electronics if there are any it would be inside here so not that I need to prove that it doesn't work but I'm just gonna show you that it doesn't uh, the USB is on if I plug it in Okay, nothing happens. I did this before there was a system update and then actually a lightning bolt appeared here. It wouldn't even charge a little bit because before it would charge like maybe for 10 seconds and then some other prompt popped out. Now it prompts cable or accessory is not certified and may not work reliably with this phone. Yeah, it just won't charge. Use a real cable. Let's see, there, it charges. So you can see here, bought it for 25 yuan. I guess there's nothing on the outside here. Let's go one level deeper into this. This looks like it's injection molded. So they probably put this thing inside a retainer and then squeeze plastic in here so it covers everything. Inside's likely going to be a bunch of wires. So let's just open it and see. So there, that's all plastic. Well, there's some kind of chip here. So I'm pretty surprised that it didn't work even though they put in what looks like to be a fake authentication chip here. There's two chips. One of them I assume it's a regulator. It uh, provides power to the authentication chip. So the iPod gets connected to this and it would start up a sequence and, and ask this little chip, hey, what's the secret handshake? And then it will be like, oh, Rumpelstiltskin. It'll ask it different questions but then it, this thing should process it and then spit back out the correct answer. So I guess even with a knockoff chip, they can change the challenge question so that it cannot respond correctly anymore. Whatever it is, this doesn't work. And for some reason, when I plugged it in initially, it did work and then it didn't work. So this leads me to believe that since there's all these chips here, they probably did get it working at some point and you can plug it in and charge it. And then at some point they change, updated the software and then so that you can no longer use this. All these cable became just trash. If you really think about you needing to buy a special cable just to charge something is a bit ridiculous. They require you to buy this cable, which is like 20 some dollars. Maybe you can get it for cheap these days. So you don't have to actually buy the Apple brand one. Apple actually uh, sells these chips to third party, which are very costly. One of the cheapest one you can get is from Amazon. I'll put a link down below for that. Uh, as you can see from the cable, it's kind of interesting to see what's inside. Just for your reference, you gotta make sure, you know, these things are not just wires going through. There's actual electronics inside this stuff. I guess they do have the right to charge you for the cable, but in principle, this is a cable and it's a piece of wire and they're trying to control it so that you have to pay extra for this wire. Um, that in itself, it's a little strange. You pay a premium for Apple products and you know, they, they make sure that it's a very closed system so they can control everything. So when you buy a cable, just make sure it's uh, made for iPod approved and uh, it should charge your phone no problem. I hope that was interesting for you. Don't forget to click like, leave a comment down below if you have a question, and don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.